Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account and we are looking at the Thrilling Voyage and the new one is up guys, the Terra Incognita. Now overall guys, when it comes to the basic stages, they are pretty easy. I know a lot of players that have been running through here. Um, a lot of comps that I've been seeing are running the Awakened version of Belinda, are running also Vithiel in there, running Rem in there. So there are a few variations that I'm gonna go over just based on the formations that we've been seeing. Now this event, I believe it is at the point where you do have to get the three stars in all of these stages, as you can see going through here, to make sure that you're getting all the loot out of here. So looking at the starting stages, we're gonna go ahead and hop in here. And again, looking at some variations in here, the Awakened version of Belinda has done incredibly well. You can see even here, we have a stage 19 formation. Um, we also do have a, and I'm just gonna kind of run through these. Um, right here, this is the um, our Dimensional Heroes, and it also is Lucretia, or excuse me, Liberta, and it is uh, Damia. So this is a combination that we've actually seen quite a few times in different formations. A lot of times they do run with the Owl. And again, this is one team you can absolutely run. Now, the second team we were actually looking at was this one. There's a few different ones because we've already seen um, a few variations with running the Awakened version of Belinda, which I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put him in this team. So running Jerome, which again, you could use Estrilda, you could use a couple different buffers in there, but also running Palmer in this formation, which is really strong, and then running Rowan in here as well. Now, majority of players are running this with Ivan and then are running um, the wing line within here. So these are the first two teams, again, that a lot of players have been kind of running with based on what we've been seeing to take out these stages to ensure that we are getting um, the, the three stars in here because of course, guys, the AOE damage. The AOE damage in this is, is of course monster. When you look at heroes like Rem, it is gonna make a really big difference for the stage. Now these sub stages are the stage that you just have to go in here and build up the formations. And I'm gonna swap out my first team just kind of based on what we're seeing here. I'm gonna keep Rem in here, but I'm gonna run Rem and Amelia. I'm thinking Rem and Amelia in here um, just to kind of change it up a little bit, but let's, and again, just based on some of what I'm seeing over here, um, they're running the Awakened version of Thane in here. This is the formation they're running. Now, if you do not ha have Thane, you can also use Oren in there. Um, he is really a very, very solid sub. Athelia would work in the formation, which we don't have her actually in any of the formation. So I wanna see what this looks like. Again, just based on these two teams. Now, majority of running through here, guys, you're not gonna use the other teams. Most of the time, team one, team two, will be the ones that take out all of the um, all of the enemies in here. So you're actually not gonna have to farm as much as you need to or going into the second team. Because even here, the second team, you can see it even brings in the same first team essentially, which in here, guys, the Berta, Damia, Rem, Ulna, three or four super, super strong heroes, guys. Ulna, of course, has to have that nine of nine furniture. If you don't have Ulna, um, I would absolutely recommend getting her. She is really a game changer. But you could also go in here um, with like a Mishka in the Awakened version of Solus, is that if that is how you have it built. Um, running Scarlet in this game mode does incredibly well. Running Peanut in this game mode, again, running the Awakened version of Baden. There's a lot of different variations. And I know a lot of players will come right out of the gate, say it is not super friendly free to play. Um, ultimately, guys, even looking at my wishlist account, which is basically no Awakened Heroes, there, there's a point where you're gonna have to have some of these heroes up to that awakened version, or it is just gonna take some RNG. Again, a, a lot of players are struggling to get through some of these stages just based on the heroes that they do have. But again, a lot of it is the RNG factor, guys. When you have a hero like Rem, um, Rem actually has the ability to, to drive through a lot of this. Same with, again, this formation number two, the awakened version of Belinda. Um, really has the ability to put out so much damage in this game mode. And I'm wondering even old school formations like the Elbeto Ainz, if they could see possibly the exact same thing with the amount of damage that the heroes are doing in such a very, very short amount of time. Now looking here, guys, again, this Thane formation is really running incredibly well. We're gonna get to the point where we need three teams, where we need four teams. Um, but again, I was kind of going through a bunch of different variations in here and just kind of seeing what players were running. Now, it seems like the only sticking point that a majority of players are running into 
is when you get to stage 19 and getting three stars. So I do have some team comps that I kind of set aside um, that are running in that area to get the three stars on, um, on 19. Again, looking on Discord, looking on Reddit, that was really, it seemed like where everybody was struggling was getting to 19. And I love going through here, guys, with you. If you have comps, if you are putting comps, guys, let me know in the comments what stage and what comp you're using and make sure when you're doing that, guys, that you are including the pet. A lot of times we do get comp formations or recommended formations that are super free to play friendly. A lot of players do not put um, the pets in there, so, so it's actually empty. And you can see, guys, we have the Awakened version of Leica in here, so we are starting to see her in some of the newer game modes and some of the newer formations. But again, guys, this team is just broken. The, the combination of Rem and Ulna together works incredibly well. And even here, guys, if you don't have the Awakened version of Thane, um, you could do a, a couple different combinations in here. You could put Albedo in here for the buffs. Um, you could put Amelia in here, which would work incredibly well, again, for those buffs. Now, here we need a third team. So as we're getting into our third team again, this is going to be our Mishka team. So this, again, is a very old school team that we have used quite a bit. This also does have Peanut in here for the damage mitigation, does some AoE damage, and this is Scarlet, guys. Now, of course, this one being super friendly, we're gonna put um, Halos in here. Halos is gonna buff up Scarlet, but overall looking at this one, very, very friendly, free to play, and you can probably clear a lot of the content just with this one for the simple fact of the build of the heroes. You're gonna have the AoE healing um, in a lot of different formations. And here, guys, again, with the multi-targets looking at Rem, this is what makes it work so incredibly well is the ability to take out these very fast guys. And even looking at the percentages here on our Mirror Demons, um, yeah, ju just crushes them very, very fast within this game mode. The win with two Hypos in the formation, win with five Celestials slash Dimensionals in the formation. So we can win this. Let's see, guys. Hypos and dimensionals, so we got hypos and dimensionals. Or no, do we need hypos and dims? Oh, I didn't even see the requirements. Win with two hypos, win with five hypo, celestial hypo or dims. So we just gotta drop the awakened version of Thane. Let's drop Amelia in here. And I'm wondering if this is gonna meet the requirement. Again, I, I didn't go through this, guys. I didn't look at anything short of some of the guides that we have over there. Now, Amelia, of course, I, I'm crowd control for this one specifically isn't going to work, but she still does have a pretty big AoE effect, which seems like it would be pretty effective in this game mode. And I'm thinking maybe the Awakened version of um, Athelia would work a little bit better. There we go. So we picked up that last one. And now I, I believe we can try again. Let's drop two hypos in here. So let's see, guys. Let's drop a Frampton in there. Again, I'm kind of thinking this variation. Let's drop Frampton. I don't even know if this variation is going to work, but there we're going to drop in an SP effect and see. So this is going to throw a big wrench, guys. Again, just thinking of the formations um, that we've seen. I know there were a couple, again, that a lot of players were saying they just ran through all the content with the exact same heroes. Looking at the debuffs or looking at the buffs that you need in here, I don't know how that would be possible um, because of the variations for these builds specifically. We can get through here. We can get through here with some variations. So there we go, guys. The next stage. So that gives us all three stages there. Then I think I'm just going to leave it with what we got, guys. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and drop this back in. Um, think of the SP effect of Athelia in here. Again, just thinking about the build. So we're going to have to pay attention to those three stars um, and see exactly what we exactly what we have in here. And again, SP effect, guys. We're adding in the bonuses that that Awakened version of Athelia is bringing in here. And again, you could put Orin in there. Um, we were running Thane here for a little bit. There's a lot of variations just based on the builds that work incredibly well. But this, of course, is going to take some time, guys. But once this mode is done, and again, the the factor that th this takes so much time um but going through here guys just once it's done it's done this game mode especially again once it is done it it's done once you have the loot and you got to get the loot within the first 30 days or you're going to be missing out on a ton of the loot that we do have in here so make sure you're going through you're finishing out this content 
pretty quick. And again, you only have 30 days to do it. But, it, but we're going to have to make and pay attention to those formations. And of course, Lucila comes back to life again and again and again. I do like the formation. You know what? Let's drop Thane back in here like we had it earlier. And again, three teams. And then we'll be getting into the four teams. And again, just more targets to kill. That Awakened version of Thane, again, works incredibly well, guys. And I'm also wondering, Ezio with the insta-kill might, might, um, might do pretty well in here. And of course, we have Morrow in the back. It's kind of crazy, the, the dodge effect that we're seeing right here. There we go. We got our owl. Now we finally got the owl to level 18. And of course, guys, the awakened version of Shmira in here with the SP effect. You can see like all the little shadows everywhere that we're seeing. And then, of course, running Damia, guys. Damia is another hero. The reason why we really do prioritize building him. And here's Naruko. Ooh, there's a flora in here. This one might be a little bit tough, guys. Flora, of course, is a monster. Oh, there, that was quick work. But Flora, of course, the Flora stages have always been super difficult, guys. Um, but there we did get it down pretty, pretty early, pretty easy, too. And, of course, we have Lucretia in here. Yeah, taking out the rest of these pretty easy. And again, guys, Ulna and Ulna Rem. Ulna Rem is such a very, very strong combination. That is the reason even looking over on uh, Reddit, I, I seen quite a, quite a few that were the exact same, that, that were pretty similar to this, that were running these combinations that we're seeing right here um, within this game mode specifically. There's definitely, definitely a few um, different ones that you can bring up. And again, I have all the tabs up for 19. Again, 19 seems like the, the, the win the battle, win heroes from four different factions, win a battle. And this is the hard one, guys. Winning a battle, all allies are above 50%. So four different factions here. That means we would have to drop out, well, four different factions. So we have one, we have two, we have three. And we're going to have to drop out. Let's drop out. Let's throw an SP effect with a wilder in there. I'm thinking, let's give it. So what, what do we got? We got Celestials. We have Light Bearers. We have Wilders. Let's see if we can do it this way with our Raging Cannon. Just with the amount of damage we put out. That's a pretty big chunk, guys. Before that cannon. So there we go. And again, it didn't really take much damage because they died pretty quick right there. Even going back to our first one, we'll do the same. We'll drop Liberta back in here. And we'll just continue the progression through here. So going through pretty quick. I, I think last time this took us about um probably about 15, 20 minutes to get through this. And again, we don't know how strong some of these later stages are. Even looking here, guys, with fighting Ulna on the enemy side. And of course, we do have the Awakened version of Laika right in the top. But the team goes down. Team does go down pretty easy. And here's Thewin, which that literally just burned right through those heroes. And you can notice, guys, that, that I am using the first team. So all of these so far have just been running through here with the first team that we're running in the formation. Haven't used Team 2, haven't used Team 3. Um, for majority of this content... It is going to be one very strong team like we see that I'm running right here that'll go through again. It'll go through a majority of the content. And of course, she dies and then comes back to life, dies again, comes back to life. And I believe she's finally dead for the final time, guys. What are we on? 14 of 19. So we are definitely getting there. And again, even if you put the first formation, so if you put the Mishka and the Solus up, up there with Scarlet, um, Shouldn't have any problem getting through the game mode. Again, this game mode is not incredibly difficult. Just kind of the, almost the Misty Valley requirements with having different heroes in there. 
and a few different things to go through it, but it does auto the game mode. Now also remember, like I said earlier, there is a an RNG aspect for this game, guys. A lot of people get stuck. I have a formation. I'm using the formation that you just used. Um, it's not working. What is going on? There is also an RNG factor to this, this game mode, um, meaning that you might try it a couple times. It doesn't work. You might try it, you know, five or six times and it works completely fine. That is the RNG aspect that we have. Now, of course, this is also the YouTube account, which makes it a little bit easier because I do have a majority of the heroes built. Now I'm going to do this is the exact same thing probably in the next day or two for the free to play account. I'm going through here and making sure that we clear out all of this content on the free, free to play account as well as here, guys. We can get through and again, some of these targets, the immunity, the dodge. Anytime we have Silas in there, guys, it, it's a pretty tough battle. This one, you cannot engage in more than three battles. Okay. And then, of course, we do have to win in a certain amount of time. So the fourth one, guys, we're going to be dropping in Baden, and I'm going to drop Vathiel in this one. Now, Vathiel is one, again, that we have seen in a lot of different formations. I'm also going to run Mulan in here. And again, this is from, I believe, over on Discord. It's another combination that we've seen over there for the fourth team. This one is going to run Talos Main. So we have to win in the first three teams, guys. So I'm hoping based on this, guys, there the mirrors are up. Actually took those mirrors down pretty quick right there. We need Damien to ult. I don't even think it's going to matter. Boss number two. And again, the damage here. Just got to get those ults up. Wow. Wow. They do damage so fast in there. I'm winning all allied. So we missed one star right there. Let's go to the next stage. You know what? Let's go ahead and finish the rest of this out. We can always circle back, guys. We can circle back. And again, RNG aspect. The, the RNG to get through the game mode and make sure it's um effective through that, that part. Because I'm sure we could probably run it two or three times and we'd see different results. Picking up different results in there. This is also giving, giving us a lot of diamonds, guys. With Lava Tune being out, um, I absolutely want to check out and see if we can get some more summons on him, if we can get some more Stargazer Scrolls. Um, that way we can actually finish him out. And we need one more copy to get him up to Ascended. And then, of course, two more copies to add that star on there. And the SP effect of the Awakened version of Thane, guys, really really strong in this game mode. And Rem just ults so fast. And I didn't even put any, I haven't farmed up any of our new, um, any of the new artifacts in here. Any, any of the ones from the collections. I'm still waiting to, to see that. I know there's been a lot of adjustments and I believe I seen that Zero had put out a guide um, similar to what he does with the pet guide. So I'm definitely going to have to check that one out. But Cetrana in here, guys, pretty tough to kill. Same with the Awakened version of Shamira right back there. I think we finally got her down. Cetrana just goes immune. That's the problem with, with running Cetrana or fighting her. If, if you're playing with her, it um, doesn't really make a difference because she doesn't do much of anything anymore. Even there goes Trishia in the back. Brutus, of course, with the shield, got him down, though. Yeah, this game mode is pretty, it's pretty time-consuming as well. And I'm finding that's what we're, we're doing with a lot of different accounts, guys. A little bit more of the, the time consumption in there. All right, what do we got? We're on 18, which means, guys, we'll get through this one and then we'll be into 19. We'll try a couple different variations in 19 and see what we can do to get through there. And again, it didn't seem super difficult to get through this game mode. I'm going to try I'm going to try it with this same running this same team, running this same setup. 
Here we're fighting Liberta. That's a new one to see see him over on the uh, the enemy side. Lucila's down here fighting Liberta. That's funny. They're, they're just throwing down. Rem is still going crazy, guys. Those ultimate abilities are just nonstop with Rem. Wow. I think we have one more team. Running Damia and Ivan. So Ivan is buffing up Olgath. Yeah, that can never be never be good. And of course, there's Olgath's ultimate ability, which can take out pretty much everyone really, really fast. And it's hard to even get him back on the ground. And again, the ultimate ability, guys. Olgath is a monster, but let's bring in the next team. And it's just Ivan and Olgath. There we go. Belinda gets it done. All right. Smoke has receded. So here is 19, guys. Win with five Celestial Hypogen or Dimensional Heroes in your formation. And then the 50%. Again, a lot of players have said the 50% is where they're getting stuck um, for this game mode. So you know what? Let's go in here. Let's drop in. I'm going to try Mulan. And again, looking at a couple different formations, I'm going to drop... I'm going to drop Eins in here. What are they running? Joan and Leonardo. Again, kind of an interesting formation, guys, but running Joan of Arc and then Leonardo in here. Let's see if we can get this down. And I'm wondering if we swapped Bane in this one. Do we just got to get... HP in that one. So I'm wondering if a little bit more defensive in here that we could get this down because it looks like defensive wise that they're running a combination and I'll, I'll just go through, look at some of, so even here guys, they're running the Mishka formation in here, which again, just kind of looking at a couple different formations. So this is running Mishka. Um, I think we swapped them. Firm. This is running Mishka with Saurus, which again is kind of an interesting formation. And then running Liberta in here. I want to see if this one is going to work for this. And again, the, some of these, and a, run, running a lot, so running Nevi in there and then running. So in here, guys, you have shielding, healing, you have healing, you have shielding, you have damage right there. And then, of course, you have amplification, the, the damage, and then, of course, the shielding in there. I'm going to drop Talisman in here and see what we can do with this formation. Now, they're also running a couple formations, again, that are running this Awakened version of Belinda with Ivan in there. And then also this one, again, just kind of running with a few different heroes in here, um, having the SP effect right there. And of course, a little bit of the shielding like Halos. Let's see if this will get it done, guys. And I'm pretty interesting to see that that last dimensional formation in there. And again, this is the healing formation. This should keep everyone healed between Solus, Nevi, um, and Mishka Shields. I mean, that probably kept everyone at 100% in there. And even here, guys, Liberta does an incredible amount of damage very, very fast. Dallas Main, also very strong pet in this game mode. Let's see, Nevi went down in there. Major AOE for Solus. I think we might run out of time on this one. It's going to be real close. But I don't think that's going to let us... I was going to say, I don't think... Upon winning a battle, all allies are alive. The reigning, remaining average health. So I'm wondering if this is going to be... Again, this is the one that everyone is kind of having issues with um, going through. But let me try, let me swap back to that all in the REM combination that we were running. 
Of course, this one, guys, a lot of defensive in here. So let's drop. And again, I'm going to try Thane in this one. And again, the RNG factor in this one, um, pretty high. So in here, we are running same, running this right here. So again, a ton of support in that formation. This one, of course, is running the Mishka formation. And then this one will actually go ahead and clear this one out. I'm going to put it back to that Baden formation. Now, this is what people have tried and true and said have worked within the formation. I'm going to drop Vathiel in there. Let's go with Tamaris. Mulan, and then Silas again as a buffer healer supporter. And this one we're going to drop in Talus Main. And then this one we're actually going to go Savage Souffle. See what we get, guys. See if we can get this one done. There we go. I think we need one more. I think we are one star shy, which was this one. Um, I think it was just the battlefield. I think it was just, again, that RNG factor right there. I think two cannot engage in more than three battles. I thought last time, and again, I'm just wondering the RNG aspect. Let's drop that out. Um, let's throw the Beardit in there. Here, I'm going to put Halos in there. I think this will be able to do it. And again, the attempts in here, it might just take a couple times, guys. One, two, and three. 31 to 31. Ten more Stargazer Scrolls, so very nice with there. And then, of course, we do collect up all of this loot. Ten more Stargazer Scrolls, or ten more Time Emblems which gives us the complete guys. That's 31 to 31, zero limit. I don't bother to do um, just for the simple fact that it, it's not worth it. It's not worth it for a limited time, but there we go. Terra Incognito, a little bit more difficult than I thought, but guys, let me know your formations in the comments. And as always, thank you guys for watching.